Y'all listen. If this, if this is not, if this is not hilarious, I don't know what it is. Now we're gonna have to talk about this. Now, years ago, <clears throat> years ago, you know, when Portia was still on Real Housewives, we saw her, you know, announce Fallon, you know, Fallon Guabadia as her, you know, as one of her friends, right? We saw her basically, you know, go over to this woman's house, you know, flown around in her booty, and her booty, you know, her booty cheeks showing, you know, one piece around that woman man, knowing that she was probably screwing that man husband, screwing that woman husband. And y'all, she ended up getting him. He ended up, you know, he ended up divorcing from Fallon and, you know, Portia thought she got her prize, girl. She thought she won the lottery, bitch. She 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 thought she got him, girl. She, she thought she got it, right? She got it, girl. And then, you know, I remember Tisa Tells making, you know, making some really good videos, y'all. If y'all don't know who Tisa Tells is, y'all, this woman is so good. Tisa Tells is so entertaining, y'all. I like watching her content when I'm at work because <laughs> she has such a chaotic, chaotic energy to me. She is so chaotic <laughs> and she just has such high energy. She's a, You can tell that she's very into what she's talking about. And I just love that. I love people who are passionate about the things that they talk about. But she started uncovering all of these, like, you know, all of these things about Simon Guobadi. So she basically let us know that Simon Guobadia is a scammer. Simon Guobadia don't have no businesses. Simon Guobadia don't have no money. Is giving shell company. Is giving you know scam artists. Is giving fraud. She basically let us know years ago, and they was dragging my good sis. They was dragging Tisa Tells by her by her you know by her baby hairs. And if y'all know Tisa Tell, y'all know Tisa Tell got baby hairs. You know, uh, come to find out, y'all. Come to find out, come to find out there was some truth in what, you know, Miss Tisa Tells had to say. And I'm going to just, I'm going to just say it. Tisa Tells ain't, ain't told no lie yet, y'all. Tisa Tells be knowing what she be talking about. Tisa Tells be having that tea. I don't know where she be getting it from, y'all. I, I can't, unfortunately, I am not the type of channel to break, break news or break stories in. I just review what's already out there. But I have much respect for people who can do that because that's a full time job, okay? To delve into people's business like that. But then we ended up getting, you know, getting all of this information that came out just a couple, just a couple days ago. That Simon, <laughs> that Simon was facing, you know, a, a deportation. And I'm about to show you what I'm talking about. Let me pull it up right now. Okay. So this was four days ago. And I'm, I'm going to go on Yahoo. I'm going to go based on Yahoo.com, y'all. All right. Yahoo. All right. So it says, Portia Williams, Guobadia's husband, Simon, fighting deportation after criminal past. <laughs> y'all <laughs> y'all what i cannot i hope y'all don't think i mean when i say this y'all but you can't tell me this is not florida evans <laughs> y'all does this look does this not look like florida does this not look like florida from good times with a scoop ball head shave let me know if i'm lying is this not Florida from good times? And it's the fact that that Portia just smiling at him. Baby, she was just happy. She was like, I got the money, bitch. Okay, baby. Knowing damn well Simon looked like Florida Evans. Oh, Portia. <laughs> Portia looked good in this photo, though. Just days after Bravo confirmed that Portia Williams Gobadia will return to the Royal Housewives of Atlanta, shocking allegations have surfaced about her husband, Simon Gobadia. And it, involve, it involves fraud, felony charges, and potential deportation. 
According to the court documents obtained by All About the Tea, Simon is facing a complicated immigration case is, and is at risk of facing deportation from the United States. His case dates back to the night. This mother was out here scamming in the 1980s. So you've been scamming since Wendy, since when Wendy Houston came out. So, so, so like when Whitney Williams, so not when, when not when Whitney, <laughs> when, when, when Whitney Houston was out here singing, you know, all the man that I need, Simon was out here stealing y'all credit cards at the, at the concerts. Simon was out here yanking, yanking the check, the checks out of y'all purse books while y'all was at the Whit, the Whitney Houston concerts. That's crazy. When he first arrived in the United States from, from Nigeria, allegedly Simon was involved in numerous financial crimes before we were introduced to him on RHOA, right? Child, if this is not the most, if this is not the most painful kiss, child, if, if this is not, you is not going to convince me that this is not a reincarnated Florida Evans. This this is definitely Florida Evans, y'all. I know we said Florida Evans passed, but this got to be Florida Evans. Ain't no damn way that you know you that y'all look. They trying to figure out what what his real identity is. It could be Florida Evans. It could be. Now y'all think I'm playing, but y'all y'all gonna get y'all damn life if it comes out that this is really Florida Evans, right? Y'all gonna get. Y'all gonna gag if we thought that for the for the longest that Florida Evans had passed on and went into glory. Little did we know she went to Africa and transitioned to a nigga named Simon Gobadia, came back, frauded everybody, and then married Porch. You know what? This call this calls for my. I I need y'all. Give me a second. I need to go. Get, I need to get. I need to get the stuff. Let me get the stuff because I we got to take this seriously. Give me a second. Hi, my sweet babies. I was going to wait until a little bit earlier, a little bit later, I meant to pull this out when we got to the Monique segment. But I figured that we talk about this because I have to, I really need my glasses to get and drill in to this, you know, to this information. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to drill into it right now. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to get into the, get into the bone marrow of the situation. We're going to get into the guts of the situation. Now let's go. Okay. So it says Simon's legal trouble started back in 1985. So you've been doing this. Wait, when, when did Whitney Houston first album come out? You bet not been doing this and Whitney came out. You bet not. Florida. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, my sweet babies. Hold on. Fuck my son. Oh, girl. I don't know what that came. Y'all, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know, like, y'all, y'all know these glasses bring out my inner Monique, you know, my bad, the bad mother in me. So I just sometimes blurt that out a little bit. Okay, my bad, y'all. My son ain't shit. Sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> Whitney Houston first album came out in 1985. Simon. How the hell were you scamming since the mid 80s, Simon? That's what I want to know. How we how was we doing this? So it says, however, Simon overstayed his allotted time in the country. By, but try to gain citizenship by marrying a United States citizen. However, the marriage wasn't real. The Immigration and Naturalization Service clocked that his marriage was phony and they initiated deportation proceedings. Allegedly, Simon left the U.S. on his own accord once the marriage idea didn't work. He returned a year later 
with the six month vi visitor's visa, but again overstayed his welcome. During his second adventure in the United States, Simon got busted for bank and credit fraud credit card fraud on several occasions. He faced felony charges, prompting the United States to initiate deportation proceedings for a second time. So you got, so you, okay. So, so you got deep, you about to get deported once. Then you ended up leaving on your own. So you're like, y'all ain't going to deport me. I'm about to go. See, if this was, see, if this was the world that we had underneath Trump's presidency, they would have busted your house and you would have been rounded up in one of them ice facilities. But see, this was a better time. See, but th this is why I saw you motherfuckers, but I ain't no Republican. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm Democrat or, or you, as y'all you, like to call it a, a libertarian. But anyway, let me continue. So it says during his second venture, let me read that again. Cause I want y'all to, I really want y'all to understand what Florida Evans was doing during his second adventure in the United States. Simon got busted for bank and credit card fraud on several occasions. He faced felony charges, prompting the United States to initiate deportation proceedings for a second time. While the government was working on deporting Simon, he allegedly, he allegedly obtained a green card using a fake identity. So at this point, we don't even know when he first came here the first two times if this nigga name was really Simon or not right he applied for the special agricultural worker immigration program and failed to include his criminal history of bank fraud credit card fraud you know felony charges and so much more the green card got approved which seemingly allowed him to stay in the united states under a false identity so this mother effer has been underneath uh underneath our uh, our uh, 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 watchful eye this whole time illegally with a fake identity so my question is how you got a fake identity knowing that you're supposed to be deported and you want to be on tv like what like where is it like if if it was me and i got deported and i was about to get deported you know i would imagine i would try to stay low-key but it seemed that simon really wanted the fame and the fortune and the glitz and the glamour because although he like you know he been doing bank fraud credit card fraud you know felony charges and so much more since 1985 you know since when he used to release our first album you know it wasn't enough for him to just be here knowing damn well he wasn't supposed to be here baby girl had to get himself some fame according to you know attached to you know all of the rest of the shit that he been doing so while the government was working on deportation, he allegedly obtained a green card using a fake identity. He applied for a special agricultural worker immigration program and failed to include his criminal history. The green card got approved, which seemingly allowed him to stay in the United States under a false identity. Fight for, for y'all. Y'all. Y'all, why do they... <laughs> Y'all, why are they continuously putting these close-up photos of this man's face? Why is Simon so close to the camera, my sweet babies? Huh? Why is why is Simon so close to the damn camera, y'all? We the people want to know. Child, okay, let me let me continue this. I'm just like, it's, it's like every single one of these Instagram photos are kind of like jump scares. So I'm trying not to, you know, be rude about it or whatever the case may be. But, you know, Florida got me ganked. OK, so let me continue. So according to the outlet, Simon tried to apply for naturalization in 2016. He wanted to be. So now you apply them for naturalization underneath the fake identity that you got the green card in. So you wanted to become a full citizen of the United States rather than just being a green card holder. However, the government refused to approve his application. They said his temporary resident status was unlawfully granted. So you already was you already was here underneath a dirty green card. But you gonna but you gonna go to the government and say no I want naturalization I want y'all to recognize me as an actual U.S. citizen naturalize me 
And at this point, it, it, it brought up the red flags in the government system because it was like, OK, you want us to naturalize you. But who the fuck is Simon? Because we don't have no we don't have no, you know, no, no history of this motherfucker. We do have a history of Florida Evans. And a whole lot of buck fuck motherfucking bank fraud. Is this you, Florida? That's what it's given that really happened to me. Over the last three years, Simon has tried multiple times to convince the government to overturn their decision. It has not worked, which has left Simon's immigration status in limbo. Allegedly, and this is also going to leave Tory Lane's little bitch ass in limbo too when he get out, hopefully. Allegedly, he's not a citizen and his green card was obtained under fraudulent circumstances. This sounds like the type of court case that will consume a lot of time and money. So if the allegations about Simon immigration status are true, we should expect to see a storyline play out on season 16 of Real Housewives of Atlanta filming is expected to start soon. Now, y'all. Now, y'all listen. Now, a few weeks ago, not I mean like a, yeah, was it a, was it a, was it a, a couple weeks ago? Now, a couple weeks ago, we all, you know, applied at Porsche. We thought that, you know, we thought that Porsche was, you know, doing her doing the damn thing, you know, she came back to the show. We thought we was going to see her marriage play out on this show. And then this came out. All of this information about his deportation coming up. And then, y'all, I want y'all to see something real quick. So let me go here. Let me go here, y'all. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. We got, we got, we gotta, we gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, we gotta, we gotta make it happen. We gotta make it happen, y'all. Give me a second. Now, just six days ago, six days ago, Portia was like my ride or die. And I know y'all want me to, to like to unmute this, but y'all, I'm not, I'm not doing that because y'all already know they be with the mess playing these music video clips and I, and I can't afford that. Okay. So yes, he thought well, oh, he was going to die today. Be his peace. Dubai, Dubai life, my Dubai, Dubai marina, Dubai fashion, Dubai lifestyle, Dubai luxury, Dubai lifestyle, Dubai beauty, Dubai tag, visit Dubai. But my question is, so you was his piece six days ago. Now, all of a sudden, you filing for divorce. I guess his peace was not still, y'all. So my question is, Miss Portia. But first, let me let me let you know. Let me read about this divorce real quick. So it says Portia Williams vows for divorce from Simon Guobadia after 15 months of marriage. The Real Housewives of Atlanta alum wed the Nigerian-born businessman in November 2022. Portia Williams and Simon Guobadia's marriage is coming to an end over a year after they tied the knot. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Alum filed for divorce from Guobadia on Thursday in Atlanta, according to the court documents obtained by People. News of their split comes as rumors fly online about Guobadia's citizenship status. However, a source tells People the divorce is unrelated to recent allegations involving Simon's past. The cause of their split is an ongoing matter, as the insider. Williams, 42, and Guobadi of 59, said, I do, in November 2022, in a Nigerian traditional native law and custom ceremony, followed by an American ceremony in Atlanta. The pair announced their engagement in May 2021 with one month of dating. After one month of dating. Yes, we are crazy in love. Williams captioned a selfie with Guobadia. Child. D does this not look like Thelma? Thelma in Florida Evans. 
Y'all is y'all not going to look. Is this not Thelma in Florida? I know I'm not I know I'm not tripping. Y'all one thing y'all not going to do is play with my intelligence. This is Florida and Thelma. And 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 it low key it, d- wait, does does Simon does Simon have a girdle on? Y'all, it low key look like Simon got a girdle on and I'm sorry y'all, it really do look like Simon is is is, is like it look like he got some breast. It's giving, it's giving t, it's giving yitties, it's giving tick old bitties, girl. It, it's, it's giving that in the shirt. Is is it like you know? And then it, it like why why the hell is he giving more of a housewives of a housewives pose than Portia is? So my question is this, Portia, did you know? Some tell me you had to know, Portia. I don't think that this is all you just finding this all out. You probably because just six days ago you was his piece. Just six just six days ago, you was his Dubai beauty. You were his Dubai lifestyle. You was his Dubai, you know, corset, or whatever the fuck you want to be. But now all of a sudden. Six days later, you filing for divorce. And this is making me think, it's the fact that you knew that it was all a sham. You knew it was all a sham. And now, and I'm not saying you knew it like from the beginning. I think that you eventually knew that it was a sham. And this power move that we thought that you made really was a desperation move because you knew what was about to happen. You know that Simon has been doing bank fraud, felony fraud, all of these fraud charges, you know, all of this stuff. And he ain't got no damn companies. He ain't got no damn money. And you knew that he was getting ready to be deported. And you knew that it was not adding up. The funds, the bank, the jobs were not adding up. And you were like, you know what? I'm going to get back on housewives, but I'm going to come back before I announce my divorce. So it can seem as if I'm doing it as a power play as if they need me right now because you already knew this the ratings were trash because the because eric fuller was centering the whole damn show around sheree and marlo i just want to say once again eric fuller is out here to destroy all the black all the black housewives franchises i do not agree with this with that with that man he like his face, his face scares me. Somebody, some of y'all said that he looks like y'all, um, that he looks like y'all, y'all paralysis demon, sleep paralysis demon. I cannot trust that man. Okay. But I'm gonna move on. So, so we, we all thought it came as like a power play. I was up here thinking, you know, Oh, look at Portia. She, uh, she out here signing exclusive deals to, to CBS. And then everything like that. And now I'm thinking like, did you do this because you ain't got no more money? Cause you ran out of funds because you ain't, you, you ain't got it like that no more. Because like you did say that you wanted to retire. You said that this was all according to your plan to retire, but we all know you a lying hussy anyway. Cause what you did to candy, you, you need to pay for what you did to candy. And my Nene, <laughs> my Nene leaks voice. But now, all of a sudden, you divorcing Florida Evans, right? So now you divorcing Florida, and now you back on full time with no man. So basically, all of, all of your whole facts, all of the fallout from this, we ain't going to be able to see it. Oh, you crafty bitch. Oh, Portia, crafty bitch, y'all. Portia is not only desperate, but she crafty. Okay, cause she, cause she was already seeing the 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 writings on the wall, and she basically played in Simon's face, right? Got him thinking that he's still comfortable, right? Listen, listen to what I'm saying. Got him thinking that he's still comfortable, just to go on. Sign up for the show, making Simon think that he about to be a star just to just to probably and allegedly in my mind leak this information about him going like, you know, going, you know, going towards deportation. 
then to file for divorce thereafter basically shaking a whole shaking the whole internet you don't have to show this man on camera because now he's facing deportation so you don't have to really talk about him because you could say it's a legal matter and now you're coming back to real housewives full time and they're not going to rescind their offer because they need you because if they don't have you who do they have because let's be real, Kenya is not the Kenya that we, you know, that we all grew to love to hate. It's, you know, this is a new peaceful Kenya, you know, and she's older now. And, you know, Candy left. You know, we, we you know, they had a suffering through, you know, Sheree and Marlo's, you know, stuttering and, you know, thick tongue conversations. So now, so now you need to be on the show. And I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I feel like it's desperate. If I don't know if it's desperate. I don't know if it's if it's like you know. If it's if it's you know strategic, or it may just be a bit of both. But something about this, <laughs> something about this, is giving me a scammer vibe. And Portia, and Portia just, and Portia just got like, just, just got the, cause so, so Portia, let, like, you know, let's run through this again. So just six days ago, you were with him in Dubai, being his piece. Then, then before that, you like, it was announced that you had partnered with CBS and, you know, Viacom and you coming back to Real Housewives, you know. After so, after you announce your real housewives thing, six days later, you his peace in Dubai. Then all of a sudden, his like his immigration felony, bank fraud, and everything else, it comes out. And then you file for divorce. Six days later. It's giving scam, y'all. It's giving scam. It's giving. It's giving. It's giving Portia to strategically made Bravo think that they needed it, that they that like they needed her, but truthfully, she needed them because she was running out of money. Lord Jesus, this is crazy. This is crazy, and I and I truthfully don't know. If Portia is 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 dumb. Is dumb. If Portia is strategic, because she can't be smart because Portia really, because Portia really thought that this man was worth all of his money. And I could tell by his man breast that he, that, that he was a scammer from, you know, this man is built like, built like scammers from Ohio. I know man titties like that from a mile away. You can't tell me he wasn't scamming out of a whole bunch of motherfucking banks. So I'm not surprised. I knew, I knew, for, I knew from his chest that he was a scammer. I knew, I knew from the face, from the face tune that he was a scammer. I like, I'm sorry, y'all. I just don't trust no man with a, with a fresh, with a fresh rack of titties. I just don't, I don't trust, I don't trust Netta, I don't trust Netta manly ass. You know, Netta, and I can call Netta man now. Cause y'all was trying to, y'all was trying to correct me and try to tell me that she a woman. Netta came up, Netta came online and told every one of us that she a nigga. So I'm gonna call Joseph what his name really is, which is Joseph. But I do want to know, Joseph, how did you get them titties? If you if you ain't never came out the house as a woman, I just want to know where them titties come from, bruh. Man to man, where the titties come from? Man to man, I just want to know, Netta. Cause I'm pretty sure I saw you on, on T.S. Madison's show talking about that you identify as a woman. Now you telling us that you ain't never identified as a woman and you a nigga. Okay, Joseph, whatever you say. But back, but you know, but back to but back to Florida Evans. I could already tell by 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 his man titties that he was a scammer from a mile away. I couldn't believe that you know that she got with him. I knew it, I knew it had to be from the bag for the bag though, because I knew it couldn't have been because she was attracted to him, because he do like he do look like Florida. And some tell me that you know that Portia Williams probably didn't want to fuck the mama from good times. I can probably I can probably guarantee you that. A lot of people didn't want to fuck the mama from good times. I can I like so I doubt if Portia wanted to. So 
it, it, it really it really behooves me to wonder if Portia is smart or if she is a dumbass. Because I just, I want to say she's smart, but she really got with this man thinking that she was getting a bed, that she was getting a bread, that she was getting that guap, that fetty, that change, that cheese. And it all came out to be figments of Simon's imagination. And that's not even a nigga name. We don't even know Simon's real name. That nigga name could be Babatunde, and we don't know. His name could be Kutakente, and we don't know. Portia like ugly men because nothing in her track record says that she says otherwise. Every ugly man that she was with had money, though. That's the thing about it. That's why I'm saying she got with him because of the bag. I thought Cordell was fine. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I thought Cordell was kind of sexy, especially when them news drop of him playing with his booty cheeks. You know, I thought that was real hot because I was like, dang, Cordell got a fatty. I was like, I know whatever man or trans woman or woman who like to peg, busting that down, I know that they're getting their money's worth. Because I know I like the kickback, like the bounce back from Cordell's cakes must be vicious. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop playing with y'all. <laughs> Child, to bounce like baby that bounce back. Child, <laughs> Eeyore is his native name. He he petitioned to change it. Wait, wait, Eeyore like what? Like you mean like Winnie the Pooh? You mean like or is it Eeyore? Some tell me it's a yore. Like it's like it's a it's a it's something after the or. It can't be just Eeyore. I refuse to believe that crown by K. Every ugly man had money and Portia got none except the African sugar daddy who bought her that car. Yep, that like Cordell's cakes probably does sound like bongos. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna hold you. Now raise your hand in the <laughs> raise your hand. <laughs> Raise your hand in the chat or put a one in the chat if y'all saw Cordell playing with his cakes on that video. And I know some of y'all was like, damn, he got a fat ass. I know some of y'all was thinking that. Cause I cause I found out that a lot of women like to watch, you know, like to watch, you know, man on man triple X videos. I like a lot of women been saying that on Twitter. I've been seeing it. And I know a lot of women like guys with big cakes. So I like, I, I don't know. And I know a lot of women out here starting to eat cakes and stuff like that, eating ass. I know that's a progressive thing that's starting to happen. It still make me feel weird, you know, hearing women say that they like to do that. However, I, whatever y'all like is what y'all like. No judgment for me. But I just, but like, you know, it just, it really be blowing me when I be hearing my, when I be hearing my friends or whatever the case might be talking about eating ass. I just, I, I just like, wow, that's crazy. Cause I just wonder, do like, do straight men clean, clean their asses like gay men do? Cause I was like, it's a whole, it's a whole thing to that. But look, y'all getting me off topic, okay? The ADHDs that like the my my Adderall crash is 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 has been happening. I'm I'm getting off topic, y'all. Okay, now look, every man that she got with had money. They may have been facially challenged, but they had money, and that's exactly what she thought she had when you know with you know with this man but we all know what portia like to really fuck and all portia williams men were not ugly y'all remember y'all remember the real cute the real cute slow one that like that her that she was with the one who don't like to take care of his kids and i guess he was like a ground uh uh, uh i guess he was like a roots activist or something like that in dc he was real cute what was his name i forgot i forgot what was his name y'all but he was like Tommy or something like that. Thomas, it was something. But he was real handsome, real cute. And him and Portia made such a cute couple. They reminded me of that, of, of y'all remember in the last few seasons of Martin when Cole finally got a girl that matched his fly, you know, matched his stupidity. And they looked so cute and stupid together. That's what Portia and that man reminded me of when they was together. He was just smiling. He was the man. He was the man that was at that table when when everybody was like, "Who said that? Who said that? Who said that?" And then also Portia was with that foot that other football player. Y'all won't remember that. And she was trying to pressure him to to marry her. Portia wasn't always with no ugly mugs. She was with some fine men.
those football players be caked up child the football players the fo- and the baseball players and the soccer players but but like y'all do y'all like y'all remember that but like yeah she ain't been with a whole bunch of ugly men i don't remember that i don't remember that at all now what do y'all think about this because i just i just feel that like you know all of this it's starting to come across that like you know portia saw the divorce coming portia probably had planned a divorce Portia, you know, Portia had probably been trying to prepare and she got this deal with Bravo as, you know, as a safety net because she knew that her money was going to be short because she was in the marriage for 15 years and she was just wondering where the money was at. I know at some point, if you touch one more thing, go home now. Cause I knew Portia was probably like, where's the money? I'm, you know, I, I married this ugly African man that looked like Florida Evans, hoping that I was going to get that check, but I don't see no check. Where's that? Feels like a scam. Okay. But you know, but you know, I guess we'll see. I won't be surprised though. If you know, Simon Gwobadia drags Portia for everything. Y'all, 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 y'all what would tell me what would be insane what would be insane is if portia had to pay simon alimony tell me that would not be a gag would that not be a gag would that not be a gag simon looked like the type to be like um ma'am i need alimony it, 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 he definitely gives me alimony it gives me that Simon is going to ask for alimony. He like he going to be like, oh, you think you about to be on Housewives and you about to divorce me, sis? I'm about to drag this divorce out. And not only that, but also I'm going to definitely try to take some of these funds that you're about to get with me. Ciao. Or maybe Portia, Portia, like, you know, file for divorce because she thinks that he about to get locked up, too. But that's if you know, you know, that's if you know this man come back into the country because little, like you know, from what I see, this man ain't even been in the country, you know, for the past, you know, couple months. He been in Dubai. So, do y'all see Simon coming back to the U.S.? Cause I don't see it. I don't, I don't think Simon coming back to the U.S. for a while. She stopped working after the marriage, though, so he was probably the breadwinner. not exactly a kelsey because he the stingy type she was like hmm right she stopped working after yep so but like the thing about it is she stopped working but he didn't have no money <laughs> he didn't have no money she stopped working but then she immediately did her show after y'all remember y'all remember she did her show after she quit so she did so she did her show, got some money off of that probably, saved that up, spent that, and was probably waiting for Simon to marry her and give her the money, but the money never came because there was no money to begin with. Yeah, she like, nah, I'm gonna head out, ain't get my money tied up and yo shh, listen. Listen. And I just hope to God that they're going to drag Portia and put all of this on Front Street. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need the new housewives who on this show not to take a light on Portia. I'm gonna need y'all not to come on the show as fans. I'm gonna need y'all to clock in and question this bitch. Question her. Question her about everything. Uh, Kenya, I'm gonna need you not to be this girlfriend. I don't need you to be her enemy, but I'm gonna need you to get all in her business. Because a lot of y'all be coming on to the Real Housewives acting like fans instead of people who just coming into the friend group. So I'm going to need y'all to ask Portia these hard-hitting questions. I'm going to need her to be hit upside the head with questions. Who is Britney Citizen? Who? All right, wait. Who? Who is that? Wait, y'all. I ain't seeing... I, maybe I'm not seeing all the comments. Let me. Let me... I ain't seeing what y'all talking about. Who the hell is Britney? She's 
She thought she would live like Shamia. Okay, I can see it. I wonder why I can't see Britney. Um, Britney Citizens, like, you know, comments. But like I was saying, y'all, also, can y'all do me a favor and like the video for a real bitch? Please. Pretty please. Because, you know, it's been it's been nine days. I need to get back into the algorithm. I got to let y'all remember who I am because y'all kind of got short term memory loss. You know, I don't know how many I don't know how many people give it up like me, but y'all can y'all can sometimes forget a bitch. <laughs> Listen, OK. Maybe Bolo is still available, but no, Bolo is not available. Bolo just got married. Did y'all see that? Bolo just got married. Hallelujah. Bolo was fine, though. Okay. Now, y'all. Now, 